Hey guys, it's me, your gang, and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? If you're doing awesome this morning or this evening, wherever you are right now. So, um, I hope you are doing awesome, guys. And for today's video, I just wanted to share to you what's going on with me here in the province. Since after the uh, typhoon that hits us here in the Philippines. So, today is Sunday, guys, here in the Philippines or here in the province. So, um, it is um, 18 days of blackout here and there's no power and there's no uh, water here in the province since Typhoon Udit hit here, here in, the, in the Negros or in Negros Oriental. So, yeah, as you uh, know or obviously you know in the social media, I guess you know already guys, we still don't have water here. And we still don't have power here in the province. So there are specifically places that they have already restored their electricity or their power on. But we said I heard um, they have already also blacked out uh, since uh, they got back on. So since I am living in the province, guys, it's it's may takes uh, a lot of times. I think it is 18 days right now since from typhoon Udit hit us here so there are a lot of boss you know that uh broken the trees or the trees pulled on by, by the boss and then the post getting broke and it needs to be replaced or restored so you know there are some provinces guys that this typhoon hits us uh badly and some of my cousins also uh, lost their roof, their houses, and my uncle also. So, um, this video talks about uh, how frustrated I am here in the province, guys. So, you know, I am very sorry, guys, for not uploading any videos. And for not uh, making any live streaming due to um, power blackout, guys. I was really frustrated, to be honest, guys because electricity or power is very important very important guys because if there's no power or there's no electricity i couldn't access the water because the water is connected to the electricity it's called bawad so here right next to my neighborhood it's like 10 minutes away to 15 minutes away you can pitch water to the cave or it's called it here tabai or it's we call it here bomba i don't know what's the english of this but i have to search maybe later on so from since the typhoon uh would it hit us here that i think that was december 16 until now it's january 2 so it's been a while more than two weeks right now so i've been like it's very hard for me to carry water because I don't have, um, I don't have cab or I don't have a uh, vehicle to transport uh, my container. I don't have much uh, container also, guys. I have six pieces of gallons from where I, I sell my gallons here or, you know, the drinking water for me, the container, which is the 25 pesos. Um, the last day, because we are running out of water here to drink, so some people that they drink in bomba i don't know what's the english of this this is uh it's like they make it a hole and then you can use the water uh you can use the water for drinking and and to wash and it's like 10 to 15 minutes away from here to my house so um you know what happened guys is i just want to share to you that it is really frustrating frustrated because there are some places specifically in Dumaguete especially in the city or in Bayawan right now they have there are some lines that they have already um electricity you know they have already electricity in the city some some lines but there are some lines also that it's not functioning yet because they have to fix the line from the electricity so there are some lines also that they got uh, back the power so um the same here in the province so city is not is not power back on oh not all people have already um have power so obviously guys here in the province we are so late from um you know getting back the power because we are in the province and specifically specifically they are going to to do first uh the city 
uh, instead of in the province so that's the problem guys typical problem here so yeah i'm very happy and i'm very glad because my house is okay we're safe my family are safe also and that's the most important thing for me so here you go guys i'm going to share to you because more than two weeks right now that i don't have water and i don't have electricity so the problem is i don't have income also since i don't have in since i don't ha i cannot make videos and i i can make videos guys but the problem is i couldn't upload it and then I will going to use like I have I am going to buy load like you know data and then I am I'm gonna upload it here in my cell phone, you know, and I am going to charge my phone like twenty pesos or twenty five pesos for one hour of charging right there in the city. So I have to go to the city and charge my phone an hour twenty five pesos or twenty pesos per hour of charging. So it might be some something like my cell phone will take charge like two hours or it's not gonna be like two hours or more than hours you know so and here is my place it's like 25 to 30 minutes away from the city guys so i have to go to the city just to charge my phone and even my laptop was out of battery because you know it will consume a lot of batteries guys so here you go that frustrated me really because i'm using my diesel to light on in the night you know i don't know how they call this one suga or the lamp yes the lamp we use lamp used by the diesel every night here and the problem is i couldn't answer my school works or my homeworks guys it is really frustrated me because the, the teacher gave us an assignment through activities and it it's going to it's going to be passed right uh right this weekend or this weekday the problem is, um, in Dumaguete, they have already power in the city, but there are some also uh, provinces are no power yet. So that's a problem. In the city, they can access wa uh, electricity and water, but here in the province, we don't have yet. So it's frustrated me because, you know, my school works and I don't have income because I couldn't even make videos and live streaming. And you know that's uh, my source of income guys online selling online my stuff part-time job and it's it's kind of crazy guys there are two choices right now that I'm going to use uh, to get electricity and to get back my connection and I have to to install a solar panel energy or I have to get generator so I was kind of thinking about it because generator is expensive as well as solar I have to get battery if ever and all with the cost that I have guys is going to my store because I have my store running so I hope this month I can run my store you know so um I was being like stopped with that to work from the labor because I was my family needed that my some of my relatives lost their house and their roof so I have to prioritize them I have to help them first then my store and than other uh, uh, matter here so yeah the reason guys I'm not uploading videos or not making any live streaming due to I don't have uh, I don't have connection yet and I don't have um, power my power is not restored here and I don't have uh, internet connections so I'm really sorry guys I was really frustrated about this one so two choice that I have to do is getting solar system or a generator the cons guys and pros of getting solar system the battery of the truck uh, is a little bit costly I don't know what's the price on it but it will be costly for sure and in generator is around also very costly and you have to um, the gasoline right now is like 70 70 per liter right now so I don't know how much the uh, I have to consume um, gasoline if I'm gonna use generator so Right now, guys, at this moment, I heard also the Rico office that they have to extend a uh, blackout because they have to assure uh, fixing the lines of the post because they have to replace the, the post that have broke down or broken. So, it may take more weeks, maybe, guys. I will be happy if next week it, they will restore that or this week. I'm not sure. And since when uh, the blackout happened from December 16, 
until right now we don't have water or electricity so yeah i'm just sharing guys so you will be able to understand and i just wanted to thank you so much for the patience and for the love for my channel and i'm sorry guys and apologize for not making any videos and i'm streaming i hope i can do uh in the next coming few days guys i will keep you updated and i just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone for supporting my channel and for today's video guys i just want to share to you and keep you updated that uh, I didn't make videos and live streaming because uh, we don't have electricity here and water here in the province and if we don't have electricity I don't have water and connections also so yeah this video is a, a short video just to keep you an update and yeah I hope guys um, I hope guys I can I can access um, internet connection in the next days because you know my income was being uh being stopped because i couldn't make videos guys and i couldn't make live streaming or live selling because due to connection for connect i don't have connection so yeah i'm hoping guys that i can access generator or solar panel i'll see what i can do and i will keep you updated so right now i am changing clothes because i am on the way to uh, the city because i have friend that has own salon so i told her that I have to charge my phone and if it's okay that I can connect her internet connection so I can answer answer all my school works you know my school works is a little bit hard for me to do because it is cooking and baking guys so I have to how I can bake because there's no electricity so I couldn't bake or cook something if it's connected to electricity so it is very it is very sad guys i was really frustrating to be honest no, i'm nearly crying right now so anyways i hope you are doing awesome and i just want to greet you and happy happy new year everyone and belated merry christmas and i hope this uh year 2022 may be better and filled with blessing peace and love i hope you already subscribed to my channel guys don't forget to hit that notifications for you to be updated when you have new videos come out i'll see you next time guys love you all thank you for understanding love you